What's up guys? Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to week five of my house vlogs. I wanted to vlog really quick because it's 7.29 on a Wednesday. And I am preparing to try to get whatever this pop-up shop thing is. So I wanted to bring you guys along. I'm not wearing any pants, so I gotta stay under my blanket. Let's see. So it's 7.29. They're usually pretty good at like 7.30 just popping it live. So we gotta be quick. I don't know what it's gonna be. We'll have to see. This is what I do. I just keep refreshing it. I should just wait till it says 7.30. There was one time where they put it up late and it was annoying. What do you guys think it's gonna be? That was my alarm. I set like five alarms so that I don't forget. Oh no. What is that? Ooh, Flock, Tom and Jerry. I'll go for that. I'll go for that. Add to cart, add to cart. Okay, I wanna, what? I wanna check out, check out, check out. Check out. Okay, let's see if we get it. All right, I'm already frustrated because it looks like they aren't using their pop-up shop. It looks like they're using their regular Funko shop, which is always a disaster because now I have the uh, spinning wheel of death, which sucks. I'm gonna see if I can go on this with my computer because that sucks really bad if this is what they're doing. I hate when they do that. Ugh. I think I'm not going to get this one. I can already... I hate... I don't know why they're doing that. Why are you doing that, Funko? The last time they did this, they tried to do... They tried to do the whole, like, I'm not... We're not going to use the Funko pop-up shop. We're going to use our regular shop. And it was awful. Dang it. That sucks. That sucks so bad. What are they doing, Funko? What are you doing? Oh, my God. I'm, I'm disappointed in them. Ugh. Their site's a disaster. It's a disaster. I had it in my car. It's just with the actual shop Funko. Like, so, the I don't know. The, the checkout for the pop-up shop is way more simple than their, their Funko store. And their Funko store is just annoying. And it, I can tell that it's going to be a disaster. Like, ugh. Not happy right now. Oh, I didn't realize I was still recording. Okay, here's where we're at. It was, I was checking out and it was doing the circle of death for the shipping, which is what happened last time. I then changed it to do this Amazon checkout because I thought maybe that'd be quicker and now it's just loading. And now, look, on my computer, it's a gateway timeout. I don't know why they do this. Like, I don't know why they choose to use their actual, their site, their actual store cannot handle the the traffic that they get for the pop-up shop like I don't know why they they even thought that it was a good idea to switch that like I'm so upset luckily it's not like I I want this but it's not like it's not gonna be in the world if I don't get it it's just annoying that like Funko <laughs> you already know this doesn't work this is what um when do they do this the toucan Sam gateway timeout the 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 toucan Sam I think is when they tried to do this and it was a disaster for an hour. It was a disaster for an hour because people were trying to get on and they didn't use their pop-up shop and then after an hour they used their pop-up shop and it was just annoying. Like, I don't know what they're doing. They're so stupid. I'm so angry. I just, this is the frustrations of, you found something that worked. Your pop-up shop was working. Like, it was working. You just went through San Diego Comic-Con and got through it with, it was pretty simple. I mean, you had a couple glitches, but like this, we already know this doesn't work. And now, yeah, it's just a bunch of gateway timeouts. So I think I might actually give up because last time I waited, it took me an hour and I don't want to wait that long. I'm not, it's annoying. I'm annoyed. Dang it, Funko, come on, man. It's always interesting, like why they chose, I don't even know why they chose to do that. Like I can't even, I don't even know. Bad call. Bad call on their part, though, for sure. Here's the update. They just... What joke? Ten minutes later... Oh, my God. I'm so angry. They moved it to their pop-up shop. And then they sold out. That... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. What are you doing, Funko? That's BS. The only... So, I... Oh, my God. So, you, I went to the Funko shop at 730 added it to my cart, it timed out on the checkout. Then I was on Instagram and I saw that 
that people said that they moved it back to their pop-up shop. So then it worked, but as I was, I added it to my cart and as I was waiting to check out, they sold out. I don't even know, like, Funko, what are you doing? Do not do a Wednesday every, like, you cannot do this. If they keep doing things like this, they are gonna mess up everything they have. You cannot get people trained to go to your pop-up shop at 7.30 a.m. every Wednesday and then do something like this, where you're gonna, for the first, for the people who got there first, you're gonna send them to your Funko shop site, which is a disaster already. Then you're gonna gateway time them out, and then all of a sudden you're gonna put it on your pop-up shop without really telling anyone. And basically, if you were lucky enough to go to the thing, the thing late, you probably got one because as everyone else was still trying to refresh their Funko shop timeout gateway thing, you guys are busy putting it up on the on the actual pop-up site, which it should have been in the beginning, in the first place, and now it's sold out. Like, I don't, I don't have any words. I'm, I am very upset, though. I'm upset that, like, if this, I'm just upset that they have poor judgment right now. Like, that was really, that's annoying. I'm annoyed. I am annoyed. I'm gonna walk away saying that everything's, everything happens for a reason. If it was meant to be, it would have been meant to be, but that is terrible. Cust I'm so angry. Terrible customer service, Funko. That is ter- Do not tell people to go to your Funko pop-up shop every Wednesday at 7.30 if you're not gonna put it on your Funko pop-up shop. Somebody at Funko screwed up majorly. If, if it was, I don't know if you guys did that on purpose. That was ridiculous. That was so ridiculous. I'm so upset. I'm so angry. That is terrible, terrible job, Funko. I can't believe that you guys did that. That's very similar to actually what they did though with the Toucan Sandwich, just they didn't make us wait an hour, they only made us wait 10 minutes, but oh, whatever, I'm over it. I'm over it, Funko. Good morning, guys. It's uh, Friday, actually. I'm doing a terrible job of vlogging, which is why I was like, oh, I should pick up the vlog camera. You guys, there's so many things that are just happening right now. I am a hot mess. <laughs> I am a hot mess. I just, I don't even know, like, I need to spend time this weekend to just clean everything. I have boxes all over the place. It's frustrating because it's like, I need to stay on top of all that. And then like, this, last night when I came home, tell me why there was like four ants. They were in Max food and I was like, no. So I had to put um, his food bowls on a plate of water. And so now I gotta figure out how to make sure I hate ants, like they're the one thing I absolutely hate. And uh, I need to figure out how to not get ants because I can't, I don't want to. And luckily, it's a new house and I haven't. I don't like eat upstairs or anything like that, so I don't really have to worry about ants being up here, but like, you just the thought of having ants in the kitchen, ugh, awful, it's awful, ugh. But it's Friday and I'm so excited that it's Friday. I'm so tired, I'm so tired, ah. Um, and I'm excited for this weekend. There's nothing going on, but that's probably what I'm most excited for. And I'm hoping I don't plan anything crazy because I really, 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 really keep saying this. I really want to go buy bookcases and put my Funko Pops. At least maybe you do one bookcase so I can do one bookcase full of Funko Pops. I think I almost have, I don't even have that many Funko Pops here, but I think I might be able to fill at least half a book a bookcase. I'm not quite sure. And then like get my um, Stashpedia going. Anyways, I just wanted to say hi to you guys and check in. I, oh, I haven't vlogged since Wednesday morning when I was really upset about the Funko pop-up shop release. That was really frustrating. Um, nothing fancy has happened since then. I was going to go Pikachu hunting yesterday, but I just had to, I really want to, I love Funko pop hunting. I know you guys like Funko pop hunting, but it was either do that or, and don't post a video or post a video. And I'm actually like one of the things that, probably stresses me out the most or just it doesn't stress me out but it makes me sad is when I, I'm not able to post a video it's like weird I never had a problem before you guys know I used to post like two to three videos a day and now I can barely just try to post one video so I'm trying to get back on it look Mac is using his cat tree yes Mac yes get it get it Mac get it go yes look at him he loves that cat tree. He scratches at it in the middle of the night. It's very loud. But yes, I want to try to get my upload schedule back to being normal. So at least one video a day. Because 
I know you guys don't care, but I care. Like, I, I truly, you know when you guys tell me, like, you should make the content that you want to make? It's like that. Like, I know you guys are so, you guys are so nice and so supportive. And whether or not I'm posting a video a week or a video a day, like, you guys are still there and you guys still watch my videos. But for me personally, like, I want to post videos every day because that was something that I made a goal at one point in this whole thing and like every so often you know I wouldn't post but it it's just that's just me personally like I just this is something that it's like I want to get that drive back and like my focus back and I want to get that you know like I don't know that push like I just don't want to wake up and be like I'm tired I'm not gonna post like I hate that and it's been like that it's been so inconsistent ever since my accident and it's like I'm still struggling to try to get back to where I was prior to it. So I'm going to continue trying. I, I still, again, appreciate all of your guys' support in that. But um, today I only did one video because I do need to head off to work. And uh, I'm actually really excited about it because it was my Amazon video. It's probably out now so you should check it out. But I, it was way more exciting than I thought it was going to be because I kind of didn't remember like what I had purchased. And I didn't want to look up in my account because I didn't want to spoil it. So it was like a surprise unboxing, which was great. Uh, all right, I'm gonna get dressed and my battery's dying, so that's perfect timing. Mac is up there just chillaxing. And uh, we're gonna, you know, get our day started. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Happy Saturday! Oh, my camera's broken. What happened? The car accident. Yay, happy Saturday! That's gonna be a big white square saying happy Saturday. Happy Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. What are you going to take home with you? Lollipop. Nice. So, uh, I have been not productive at all today. I slept a lot, which I think I just need to sleep. Some work stuff happened, so I had to take care of that. Me and Dana just finished filming two videos so far. We did a, a candy box and the toy box monthly. And it was fun because the kids weren't in the video, but they were sitting behind the video and they were like talking and it was hilarious, like super funny. And now they're going upstairs. I don't know what they're doing, but we are going to film one more video. We're going to do the Tokyo treat from May. It's a little bit old, um, but probably my newest box actually, because I have some at my parents' house that are like even older. But this one is, uh, is the newest one that I have, I think. So we're going to film that. And I didn't get anywhere with anything. Like, I was supposed to go to Walmart to buy bookcases. I went to Target today and I almost bought a bookcase, but I don't like the way their new five shelf bookcases are like two smaller bookcases stacked on top of each other. And I didn't like that. So, I'm gonna go to Walmart and try to get one that's like full connecting because I like that better. Um, and I still need to break down all of these boxes that are on the floor because those are just chill chilling. I need to get a fanny pack. Get the one that looks like an old man belly. No, ew. Do you want my Rugrats fanny pack? Maybe. My tie dye one? Just, yeah, just to use a predator. That day. Okay, what do we have here? What's that guy's name? The rabbit? He didn't stand up very well, huh? That's a, a Funko Mystery Mini who doesn't stand up well because he's, oh wow. Okay, you got him to stand up. That's a she. Oh, she, sorry. Oh, that's the, the main character. The What's bunny? The um, Officer. Uh, yeah. uh, Officer Hops. Hops, yeah. And then what, do you, what else do you have? You have, these are Crossy Road figures, and that's a Mini Mixels. My mini mixels, the kids. Oh, oops. This thing is hopping around. And then was the bunny like watch over the people? Yeah. Because the big monster might come and get them. Ah. <laughs> is it clear? Yeah. That thing is a little bit creepy. There's no face. <gasps> it looks like the character from that game that we would that we played on your tablet. Do you remember that game? The game that we played where you had to move the staircases around, except it doesn't have a pointy head. Remember that game? What's that game called? Love, love. The game that, the maze game that we played. Doesn't this oh, character yeah. look know. like that from the maze game? Look yeah. Maze game. It was the, the little... girl that had the pointy hat. Yeah, remember she lost her mom? And she didn't like have a face. You used to play with it all the time. On your tablet? Really? Like, you don't you had remember? The, you had the tap and you had, she had to find her way to a destination. And there was those scary crow birds that would try to get her. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah, that was a fun game actually. I downloaded that. Like Maddie that. played it on her tablet and I was like, this is a fun game. So I went home and downloaded it on my phone because I liked it so yeah, much. Yeah, she had like a, a number two one. Yeah, there was a, yeah, I had the, the first version and second version. All right, we're gonna film one more video and then we gotta get these kids to bed because it's late. But hopefully the Tokyo treat is delicious. 
Oh, I hope it has good savory snacks. When I finish the end of the level, there's like, um, the girl turned to this white bird queen and um, there's all, all a bunch of rainbow birds. Oh, I remember that. That was really cool too. Okay, let's get filming, yes! Okay, we just finished filming and we went to go check on Autry because it's been really quiet and look what we have. Knocked out. But she still has her lollipop in hand. All right, Dana and the kids just left. That was a fun night. Me and Dana filmed. All the they're so long. If the editing's gonna be time consuming, but it's gonna be funny because the kids who, you guys probably know this, like I try not to put in my videos like their faces and stuff, and they really wanna be in the video, so we have them being the director today so that they could still kind of be involved but not necessarily be in the video. I just swept the floor because you guys know I've been getting, I don't actually have ants, but I've seen ants, like they, they try to attack Max Food Bowl. So I started putting water, you can see there's an ant right there. I put the food bowl in a plate of water so that the ants can't get to the food. And then I just got my bait trap. These are the ones I like to use, I really like these. I don't think the ants are coming over here yet, but if they do, they can get the poison. I put one outside too. If anyone knows of any good, like at work, we have, our Terminix guy, he comes and sprays some solution that is supposed to help prevent ants, but I want something that's obviously safe, especially because I have Mac, but I wouldn't mind spraying something outside the house just to try to keep ants away, because I hate ants, I really hate them. Um, I didn't get to show you this, but this is, Maddie brought this for Mac, and when you press the button, it lights up and it like changes colors, and she brought it just for him. Mac is a little bit lazy. Even when you get a laser pointer, he's not really a fan. He doesn't really, he's like too cool for school with that. So he was like, you know, she's like, I don't think he likes it, but I think he likes it. I think he likes it, he's just not used to it yet. Um, I cleaned up a little bit and I just drank hella tea, which I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea, but Dana brought me chicken skins too, which is great. I. I've cleaned up, I don't know if I'm gonna film. I got some really good boxes in. Let me show you guys this, just so you kind of have an idea of uh, what boxes are to come. Uh, I've got, I've received my Marvel Collector Core box. Uh, I received a couple BAM boxes today. I have my Sanrio box, which me and Dana were gonna actually unbox, but then I know I have one at my parents' house, so I wanna make sure that I, uh, that I film that one first, or we can do it at the same time. I got my Wizarding World box, my Nick box, which I'm gonna unbox tomorrow because I'm really excited for it. My regular Loot Crate, I did a couple of pop mystery boxes from a new company, I got my Super Geek box. We got an Aki Bento, a WWE crate that I still need to open. Um, whatever Geek Gear box this is, I have my Shumi monthly, and then something from Box Lunch. I've got a lot of boxes, I still have a lot of boxes left over, and it's, I just gotta start filming, I gotta start filming. but. I'm all cleaned up, minus this big box of boxes. Boxes, a big pile of boxes. Um, I totally forgot to take my garbage out this past week. I didn't forget, I got home on Monday, I was like, I should take the garbage out, because people had already done it. I was like, I'll just do it tomorrow morning. And then, like, when I woke up, I was like, it's fine, they don't come till later, and then they didn't come that late. It was like seven or eight, and then I heard it, and I was like, oh, and I looked, and they were already passing me, and I was like, dang it, I missed it. So my, my garbage cans, which I have actually pretty big garbage cans I'm recycling, they're not super full, so it takes me about two weeks to basically fill both of those up. I'm in the process of trying to move Max litter box, because right now it's in my bathroom, and it's a really small space in my bathroom, like my toilet area, and so he's been, and I think he's also pissed off at me, so he's been like pooping next to the litter box. So I'm trying to give him his own space in the upstairs bathroom. So I put, I got two new litter boxes and I did the um, crystal litter because he actually, I think he prefers the crystal litter. Um, so I'm kind of trying to retrain him to go upstairs now so that he doesn't mess up my bathroom. And then he can just mess up this upstairs bathroom. It was really dark, he can't see anything. But let me show you, I'm getting, this sounds st stupid, but I'm getting shin splints from all the walking up and down the stairs. My, I'm not used to walking up and down this many stairs, so I'm getting shin splints. But I set them up. I didn't know how I wanted to do it originally. I was originally gonna put both of the litter boxes in the uh, shower, but then I thought if I ever have guests and I need to move it, I didn't want to have them so used to going into the shower. So uh, I know this seems excessive, 
I can't tell. He hasn't used them yet, but he prefers, I get the crystal one from, um, from Target. So we'll test this out. And I got him two litter boxes. I know he doesn't really need it, but he's, I don't know. Mac is kind of weird. He's a little bit weird with his poops. You guys see I put the doggy pads just in case he doesn't, like if he misses or something. But we'll see how that goes. I don't know if he, I don't know if he likes coming up here in the dark. And this is the bathroom I locked him in when, when I was getting my carpet shampoo. So I don't know if he likes this space, but there's a window and he likes to climb up on the sink and like stare at the window. There he is. Let's see if he, I don't think he'll just use it now, but I want him to get used to it. I put him in it so that he sees like, okay, here's your litter box and see if he likes this better. Oh, he's walking away. So maybe he doesn't like it. I don't know. I'm like sweating guys. It's, it was hot today. It was 100 degrees. I turned on the air conditioning on the first floor and the second floor. I haven't really been upstairs, so I didn't turn the air conditioning on there. I got my first PG&E bill for last month, so it's my first time having a full month, and it was um, it was 50 something dollars, so that wasn't too bad. I'm gonna finish cleaning. I might film some videos, I'm not quite sure. I need to change my shirt, because this one's really stretched out, so when I'm filming videos, it's, you know. Oh, I forgot to tell you, look, I got my facial hair under control. Can you guys tell? This one's a little bit funky, I'm not gonna lie, but my facial hair was getting like really out of control. What is that eyebrow hair? Just like chilling. Um, it was like really out of control because I usually get my, my eyebrows done at my old house and um, I you know haven't been going there. So I finally went back today and I uh, got that done. And tomorrow I really wanna go to Wal Walmart and get my bookshelves. Mac is in there, let's see if he's using it. Oh, he's on top of the sink. This is so creepy, I'm like stalking him. I just want this space to be his own. I need to get night lights. That's the thing I think that he might be freaking out about. He, when I leave him, he gets really like antsy and he'll like cry meow because I don't think he's fully used to the space and it's really dark because I obviously don't leave all these lights on. So I need to get some really good night lights and put them all around the house so he can still see. Cause cats can kind of see in the dark but like they have to have some kind of light I think to reflect off their eyeballs. I don't know anything about that. I just made that up, but I think I read that somewhere. Like, cause he's never had a problem with the dark, but I usually have night lights around. So maybe tomorrow I'll either go to Home Depot or Walmart maybe, and just have night lights so I can put them in every room and that way he can see. Cause if, especially if I'm gonna have him try to use the litter box upstairs, I want him to be able to see coming upstairs. You know, like I don't want him to be scared or anything like that. All right, we're gonna go to, to bed. I just filmed for eight minutes. So that's gonna be, this is gonna be a long vlog, but we're gonna go to bed and start again tomorrow. Yes, Mac? Say goodnight. Say goodnight. Say goodnight, Mac. Goodnight. Yeah, see? That's him saying goodnight. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. I just noticed that, because the kids were up here watching TV, but look at, look at what they did. They set it up like they're all hanging out. They're just all hanging out. Hello, it's Sunday. Happy Sunday, Mac, say hello. No? Okay, you guys. I, it's like already two o'clock. I have done absolutely nothing today except for I edited one of the videos that Dana and I filmed yesterday. Those videos are so long, so in, I hate doing this, but I think I'm gonna like not post them consistently. Like usually when I, I, I post the videos in the order that I film them, cause I just, it's always been a thing for me. But I just finished filming my Marvel Collector Core box and a Mystery Funko box from Fair, game toy store or something like that. Um, you guys actually voted for those. I did a poll on YouTube and those were the top two uh, winners. And so I just finished filming. I'm gonna go ahead and edit them and then upload them today. It's Sunday. It's already kind of late, but I wanna get some good videos. I, I put my candy video up, but it's like a 30 minute video so I know no one's gonna watch it, but it's really funny. So if you wanna watch it, if you like watching my life, then I think you'll like this video because it's pretty funny. So we're gonna film and then after, I'm gonna edit and then once I'm done editing and posting at least one of these videos, then I think I'm gonna drive to Walmart to get some night lights for Mac. And me, I guess, but really for Mac, and then also a bookcase. I want to get at least one or two bookcases so I can start putting up my Funko Pops because I want to start putting my Funko Pops on Stashpedia as well. So there's a lot to do. It's I don't really have any plans. My sister's going to come out, so we're going to have dinner with my dad tonight. But other than that, I'm pretty plan-free, so that's exciting. Um, we're just going to chill and uh, hopefully get at least one bookcase of Funko Pops. If I do that, I will be winning for the day. If I can do that by the end of the day, I will be winning. I will consider that a win. 
All right, let's get to it. Yes. Mac, Max. Can I just say one thing? I was going to talk to you guys about this earlier. So Mac is adjusting. He's like, fine, especially when I'm here. But obviously I work like five days a week at least, and I'm not here all day long. And when I get home, he's always crying really loudly. And he's done that in the past. Like he'll run to the door and he'll like, he'll meow. But like these cries are really like deep and I feel really bad because he's just here alone. So I'm thinking about potentially adopting. I don't want to adopt a kitten because I don't want a kitten. I don't think I want a kitten at least. I don't have time for a kitten. But I was thinking about adopting maybe an older cat just to be in the house with him. It's, it's always hit or miss because you never know. Like. Mac hated Kitty when we first got Kitty. They tolerate each other now, but I wonder if he misses her. I want to talk to my sister to see if Kitty's been acting strange, but yeah, I think maybe like if I got an older cat, I don't know. I just, I always, I don't want to like make his living situation worse. It's just, I don't know what he fully needs and that's the tricky thing. So if any of you guys have any ideas, feel free to share them because I'm, I'm open right now. I just don't want him to be sad. I don't think, again, when he's with me, he's not sad. It's just when I'm not here that I feel like he's sad and it's a good amount of time. It's like 10 to 12 hours a day that he's here alone. I think one of the things too is that because there's a lack of furniture, he doesn't have as much freedom to adventure around and like sit on sofas and stuff like that. So I'm wondering if that might make it better like once I have more furniture or more cat trees and also with the night lights so when it's nighttime he can actually like go around the whole house and still be able to see. I don't know. Just thoughts. Let me know what you think. Hello guys. It is Sunday night. It's almost 10 o'clock. It's really late. I just got home. I went to dinner at my dad's and then I stopped by Walmart on the way home and look what I got. Ba boom two freaking bookcases i've been trying to buy these bookcases for probably what like three weeks now um so originally i was going to get them from target but i didn't like the way target's bookcases were set up although i'm realizing that these are probably the same where it's basically like two separate pieces but i feel like this one connects a little bit cleaner than the target ones the target ones look literally look like you stack two bookshelves on top of each other so I got two of these. We'll test them out. Hopefully they're good. They were like $27. I got them in black because I feel like I like black. My walls are all white or whatever color this is. And pops are usually in a white box. So I figured having them on a black bookcase would help them pop a little bit more. I also picked up one of these. You guys have been asking me to pick this box up for a while now and they did have this leftover. It's actually fairly cheap. I can't, I think last time I got them they were about $20 each or 30, but this one was 20. And it comes with coasters, so that's exciting. Pretty excited for this box. I don't know what that mystery figure is. It looks like a, a mystery figure of the castle, right? That's what it looks like. And then I had to get a coaxial cable for my cable box down here because I used two of them upstairs when I had to do, I have my router plugged into the same one. It's tricky. Um, and then I basically bought some 3M hooks because I want to put a 3M hook here so I can put my keys and potentially my backpack, although I probably have to get a stronger 3M hook because this is only three pounds and I'm pretty sure my backpack weighs more than that. And then I also got a bunch of, I got a Chromecast for my TV upstairs because uh, I had to move my Chromecast from upstairs to downstairs since the TV doesn't work, but I wanted one on each TV. And then I got a bunch of night lights. So I'm hoping these work well, uh, and I hope that they'll make Mac feel a little bit more comfortable at home when it's dark out so that he can like see better. So I'm gonna put them all over the house. I bought different types because I didn't know what was gonna be good. And then this was on sale. It's a non-stick walk. It's pretty heavy duty though, it was only $5. It's Walmart, so I don't expect it to be the best quality, but you know. I'm excited. So that was a good little trip to get some house stuff. I decided to try to make my tea right now instead of in the morning. I'm drinking water because I feel like I'm dehydrated. And I still have that big pile of boxes on the floor that I need to break down. Probably won't get to that right now. Oh, I did bring, or my sister brought my suitcases from my other house because I am going on a trip on Thursday to LA. I'm very excited about that. Uh, I'm going to a fun place wherever people have fun to go in Anaheim. I don't know if my godkids watch this, so I'm not going to say where I'm going. But if anyone's going to be there, I think Friday and Saturday, 
you should uh, hit me up on Instagram or something and let me know. All right, I'm gonna, I don't think, I'm really tired already, it's 10 o'clock. I don't think I'm gonna put the bookcases together tonight, but what I am gonna do is carry them upstairs. I'm gonna install all these night lights around the house. My ant problem is, um, it got worse because I thought the ants were coming from outside, so I put a bait stick here right then i found out today once it attracted a bunch of ants that the ants weren't coming from out here i thought they were coming from outside they were walking all the way here all the way here across the thing and then they were going up the stair thing on the the build with the board see that there's an ant right there can you see it and walking all the way up here and then walking all the way up here and then they were coming out of this little hole right here so as you can see I put a bait stick right near their hole so they didn't have to walk all the way. But obviously that means that there's a hole in here that they're coming from, so that kind of sucks. But we'll figure that out. Once Once this bait stick hopefully kills the colony, then, you know. So instead of them having, I mean, this, there's still some of them walking all the way downstairs, but instead of them having to walk all the way to the kitchen, I just put the, I put the bait stick right here. So hopefully that will get rid of them in a couple of days. We will see. And there's Mac. He's very upset. He's upset because I left and I forgot to leave a light on. So he's probably been here in the dark. So I'm definitely going to set up all of those night lights now. So he's not mad at me. I don't want him to be mad. We don't like when Mac is mad. Not a good look. Not a good look. Oh my god, you guys, I'm sweating. Okay. <sighs> I set up all of the night lights. I'll show you some. I think it's going to be good. I can't wait to see if Mac like likes it. I'm trying to set up my Google Chromecast. But I put a bunch all around the house, like, there's one right there. I know it's hard to see because technically lights on. There's one there. I also put one in the bedroom right there, one in the bathroom. And then there's actually night lights, like, if you go up this way, I put one on the top of the stairs right there. And then there's a bunch in the room, like, in that whole entire upstairs room and the upstairs bathroom. And I put it downstairs, so hopefully he likes that. I also put one in this bathroom, although I don't know if I really need one in this bathroom, but there's one in there. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I also carried all the bookcases upstairs, and that's why I'm sweating bullets, because um, they were very heavy. But I got those upstairs, and now I'm going to set up my Chromecast. I kind of want to play some video games. I'm not quite sure what I want to do. I should edit so that I don't have to wake up early tomorrow, but I don't know if I feel like it. Mac is just chilling. See, he's fine when I'm here. It's just when I'm not here, I feel like he's lonely and or he's just upset because he can't see. So we'll see how this week goes. I am going on a trip on Thursday. I'm going to have my parents. Well, hopefully they'll come and feed him and whatnot. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm so sorry because I keep teasing that I'm going to start setting up my upstairs room. But I'm going to have to save that for probably tomorrow. At least I bought the bookcases. And i got to put at least one of the bookcases together. And then that way I can start bringing all my Funko Pops. Because like they're, they're all over the place. There's some there. There's some downstairs. There's still a bunch at my parents' house. There's still a ton at my old house. So I really need to start bringing them over here and the first step of that is just having a place to put them so hopefully two bookcases will be enough to to fit all of the Funko Pops I have in this house and in my parents house and potentially some from my old house I don't actually know how many bookcases can be or how many Funko Pops can be on one bookcase you know hopefully a lot I guess I could do the math, but I, I'm not really quite sure. I'm going to have to set up a bookcase and actually see how it works itself out. So we shall see. But thank you so much for joining me this week. I apologize because I feel like I don't even remember. what I, I never can remember what I even vlogged by this point of the week. I'm like, oh, I hope it's something good. But hopefully you guys enjoyed yourselves. If not... I'm sorry. I, I think it's going to get better, but I really don't know. It's like random house stuff and then me talking about Funko Pops is basically, and Mac. This is basically what my life has turned into now. Anyways, thank you again, though, for all of your support and for joining me. And I will see you guys next week for another weekly house vlog. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.